Hey everyone, welcome to Kyra's house. Today we've got um, unboxing, first look at my Yolio frame, my aero frame. I'm uh, just going to see dimensions of box is about 19. It is 82 high approximately. Oops. And it is, it is 89 and a half wide. So let's get into it. Okay. Let's make the first cut. I'm not doing a Okay. Okay, and this little bit. These are the old knee there, the 100 box opening. Here it is. It's open. Oh, this is exciting. I've been waiting for this for ages. So, first look in there. Mm hmm. Let's have a reach in. It's all going to come out in one piece. Yeah, let's just put that in there. And what else have we got in this box? Oh, we've got Yolio. Wheel transfers, they can go there. We've got some more Yolio transfers, and guess what? Some more transfers. So, nothing else in the box. Okay, we're back again. Uh, I've taken all the uh, frame out, as you can see. Uh, put my socks and jeans on because it's cold. So, uh, let's start. So we've got uh, the fork, 12mm uh, through axle aero fork, there's the Yolio um, name. It's got a glossy part and a matte part, as you can see, if I spin it round. A tapered head tube, so that you can cut it to the size you want. And we've got a flat mount, flat mount caliper there. We've got the hole where the brake cable comes out and there should be a hole where it goes in, it is, there, okay. Um, there's a number and uh, something on the other side, um, UD, I know that's unidirectional weave but I'm not sure the other numbers. Um, last look at the fork again, that nice Yolio on the front and the high gloss on the rear face. Okay, so seat post. Seat post is aero profile. Again, it's got, whoops, upside down. It's got that Yolio um, logo on it. It's got, um, it's mounted up for, that is round profile uh, rails for your seat. I'm not sure if you can get um, profile for carbon, which is um, a little bit of a different shape. Just have a look around there. Again, that's quite long. And now this will take a inside. It will take um, a Di2 internal seat post battery. So we can put that there. Okay, in the in the package also came the uh, through axles. I've actually got some from DT Swiss, so I probably won't use these. And that's obviously the rear one. That's the front one. Let's get on to the frame itself. Wow, that's light. Whew. Okay. So this is the ghost. Um, R6 aero frame, as you know. So we'll just have a scan down there. So we've got the matte and the gloss. The gloss feels, it actually feels like the matte is raised rather than the gloss. It's just got a distinct edge. Now when I run my fingernail from the matte to the gloss, it clicks a little bit, but when I run it the other way, it's much more, uh, 
raised. So I think it's actually the matte that is raised rather than the gloss. So down to the Yolio logo, we've got a BSA a bottom bracket. So I'll be screwing in my uh, Shimano. Oops, just got a bit of stuff there. I'll be screwing in my Shimano um, dual race bottom bracket into there when I build this bike. So let's go up rear stays. Um, that says R6. R6. Okay, this is where the uh, rear mounted uh, caliper um, mounting points are. We'll spin it around the back. Sorry, it's a bit wobbly. So we've got the uh, frame spacer in at the moment. Rear derailleur hanger. Down the other side, R6 again. If I can get the light shining on it, R6, there it is. Um, through to the bottom bracket again, uh, BSA thread, the front tube. Okay, we've got intern uh, cable bit there, and what it looks like you can take that out. You can. Basically, this is just a little um, clip which you put back in once I find it again. Sorry, camera's at the wrong angle. Push it in, clip it in, it goes. Push that forward to set it. There we go. I haven't pushed it in enough, sorry. It's because I'm trying to do it one handed. There it is. So, right, let's look around the front of this. So we've got R6 again. No, just a number six. Yolio. Two on the two internal cable guides there through the other side of the frame. Right, let's go up the seat. There we go. I'll just give you a little profile there. So we've got bottle cage uh, mounts. We've got a braze on um, front derailleur mount. That's where the seat goes. That bit is to uh, attach the seat. I've got that in a little packet. I'll show you in a minute. Let me just zoom out. I'll just stand up, give you a profile of that. So inside the box um, comes this. In this packet comes these. So we've got a top bearing and bottom bearing. We've got a top cap and that will sit, whoops, he says knocking his frame. That will sit um, over the top here, look, protecting all the uh, bearings. That's to hold this, the, um, the steerer tube, yeah, it goes inside the steerer tube and expands uh, when you screw down on the Allen bolt in there, that keeps it in. That goes around the steerer tube as you know, and we've got a washer there as well. Also inside the box is a packet with a packet, and inside that packet is all these bits. Now. Looking closely at these bits, we've got uh, frame bungs, one, another frame bung, two, another bit for a frame or frame bung, three of those. We've got one, two, two of these um, cable, yeah, the bits that I showed you on the frame, which are these, yeah, two spares. We've got two rubber, two long rubber bungs. Now, what I'm assuming is, and I'm gonna do this without actually having done it before, these, if I didn't want one of these, I could simply take it out and put this bit in there, yeah? That's what I'm thinking it fits like. Trying to do it one-handed is a bit hard, but as you can see, it would fit over there. So there's two of those. Also, we have the seat. Oh, that looks, yeah, those bits go together. Okay. So we've got the seat um, clamp. Now, this seat clamp, as I said, I'll show you uh, later. 
the seat clamp will fit into here. Now, as usual, oh, I'm going to lose the seat clamp inside the whole frame in a minute. All right, let's get it out. I'll just put one bit in, but it fits into that hole there. It sits there. There you go. And then the seat post goes in there. You just do that up. It pushes on this bit, yeah, because it's it slides, it slides up and pushes against the seat post. Okay, so that is the seat post clamp. Let's put that out of the way. Now, oh, oh yes, these must be for carbon carbon rails on your saddle. Two spares because they're a different shape than um, than the other ones. And it says tighten to 12 newton meters as well, which is good. Yep, so those must be two spares. Let's have a look over here and just bring this in. So these go, yeah, these are seat clamp. These are round ones. These are a lot bigger, see? So they must be for your carbon saddle. And we've also got two spare. We've got a derailleur hanger and we've also got a bit for the other side, it looks like the opposite side because on this frame the um let me just take the rear spacer out as you can see the um through axle is actually not part of the frame itself it's it's kind of like an external bit yeah and so is the drelia hanger that that creates the where you put the um through axle through it hasn't got any threads in the rear what actually happens is that there on the bit they supply there is a screw like a nut I'm trying to undo it I should have thought about this really so we'll just put this through so it goes through the frame yeah like this and then basically the screw threads are sticking out on the other side. Yeah, and you screw it in like that. Okay, and that is your through axle. So it doesn't screw into the frame like the front forks. Okay. The front forks have got a thread. The rear has not got a thread. Okay, not that that's a problem because on my specialised rebay that I'm replacing the frame on with this frame, um, the only time I've ever had to take the back wheel off is when I've when I'm doing maintenance on it. I've never had a puncture on the road ever, um, so I've never taken my front or back wheel off apart from maintenance time. So that really isn't a problem to me. Having um, having it screw not into the frame. So, um, what we'll do is we'll have a little look down at the back, see how thin it is. Okay, uh, this is 140, 12 by 145, 12 by 142. Can't remember off the top of my head. Um, the boffins out there will obviously tell me what it is. But anyway, I've got all the correct um, I've got all the correct uh, things, hubs and that, and um, I've got DT Swiss ones. So, um, that is very nice. That's a very nice first look at, uh, at this frame. I'm looking forward to getting that um, made up. So the only thing I'm waiting for now is my uh, Ultegra flat mount calipers and my uh, and the shifters as well. Um, and then I can put it together. So what I'll do is uh, say goodbye for now. Thanks for watching. Um, like and subscribe if you want to see some more. And um, thanks for being part of this journey where I build my new bike. And um, we'll see you soon. Take care.